Well, hello, my friends. In this little module, we're going to just uh, introduce you briefly to uh, SPSS, Statistical Packages for the Social Sciences. And uh, this is just designed to just show you how to get in the software, show you some of the, the basic design of the software, and then to examine how we might do some light descriptive statistics. Uh, the statistical packages for the social sciences is owned by IBM. Now, if you if you want to purchase uh, a student discount version, uh, you go to the I IBM website and and navigate through. And I have that posted in the class as to how you can access it. It is available on both the IBM and the Apple. If I recall, the latest version right now is version 22. I believe that the uh, student discounted version was somewhere around about $102. The discounted faculty version, same thing, premium pack is about $300. So they stick me a little more than they do you. Uh, it has an annual license. You're not buying the software itself. You're purchasing an annual license to use the software. And, of course, the premium pack is suggested. Now, friends, what we will do is that I have opened SPSS software. And when the software comes up, it looks something like this. It's blank. It has variables across the top. It has uh, rows down here across the bottom at top. It will say SPSS, uh, things like file, edit, view, data, transform, analyze. Now, analyze is a very important button for you to be introduced to. Down at the bottom, when it comes up, it has data view and it has variable view. Now, across the top of data, it just has VAR. That's because the variables have not yet been assigned. So one of the first things that you would do is click down here on variable view and shift it to where you can actually name the variables. And I'm going to click up there and name a couple just to show you what it looks like. I'm going to name variable 1, 1, and variable 2, 2. It gives the type as numeric, the width 8, and it forfeits to uh, two decimal places. I'll click on that and set that at 0. Now, I've just arbitrarily named some variables. I'm going to go back to data view and put some of them in there, and I'm just going to randomly make up some uh, values. 1, 2, 3, uh, 3, 1, 5, 2, 6. Uh, let's see, that'll give me six of them just messing around there. And uh, let me give, give me another one here. I'll put another one there, a 1. And I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of analysis. 7, 9, 4, 6, uh, 2, 5, and uh, 6. Now, in this one variable, I obviously have one decimal space. The other one, I don't have any. I want to go back and fix that. I wanted them with no variables. I'm just a little senile. Now then, when I've done that, I go back and look. They don't have that. Now, if I wanted to just do a little simple descriptive analysis of variable 1 and variable 2, I could go up here and click on Analyze. And uh, when I click on Analyze, lo and behold, I might be interested in the descriptive statistics. If I want to do the descriptive, such as the standard deviations and all of that, I would go to dis uh, Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Descriptives. And here it comes. It's going to load up. I want to do Variable 1 and Variable 2, so I'll highlight them, hit the arrow, and move them over. Uh, let's look at Options and see what it says there. I can get the standard deviation. I, auto I mean, it forfeits to that to give me the mean, the standard deviation, maximum and minimum. I can have the variance and the range if I want that. Now, kurtosis and skewness we will develop later, but I just want you to see that you can, you can get that very easily. When I tell it OK on the options and selected what I want, I just hit OK, and lo and behold, it calculates those things for me. And it's just thinking away right now. And it will get it done here in just a moment. Variable 1 has seven variables. It ranges in uh, width of 5. The lowest is 1. The highest is 6. The mean is 2.57.
and the standard deviation is 2.070. The variance is 4.286. Now, remember the variance is the square of the standard deviation, and the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. Now, suppose that I want to do some other analysis on that in just a minute. Uh, let's go to descriptive statistics and look at frequencies. Uh, just to let me know how many, how often each one, and it says display frequency channels. Let's look here. Let's check it out on statistics. Uh, I can get mean, median, mode, the sum. Let's tell it to give me mean, median, and mode. Again, give me the standard deviation and the variance uh, just out of, just for fun. Let's see what it gives us on those. And let's go. And oh my gracious, it's less thinking. It's added it on there. So it added it to the other thing that we did. It gives me variable one, how many we have, what the mean, the median, and the mode is, the standard deviation, and the variance. And look here, it gives me a frequency table. A frequency table takes each of the values and tells me how many times it occurs in that data set. This ought to be pretty interesting to you. Uh, one last thing I just want to show you how to do, and that is descriptive statistics. I can go over to frequencies again, and I can select some charts. Suppose I want to see a histogram of, uh, of uh, those uh, variables to see what they look like. I would tell it yes. It's going to recalculate all those other things right now like a big dog. And uh, it's thinking it'll get it done here in just there it went. And it's loading the histogram of the variables to show me where they lie in those two data sets. There's value one and then value two. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm not going to save the contents. I just wanted to give you an example of how you would go into SPSS. It comes up with data view and variable view. How you would select variable view to set your uh, variables how you would then go to data view and enter the values and then you could go to analyze and descriptive statistics. You can look at frequencies, you can look only at descriptives. There's more than one way to get the mean, median, and mode and the standard deviations and all of that. Uh, in the frequencies we got everything including histograms and charts. Hope you enjoyed this. In closing I would like to thank you very much for your support. May the odds be ever in your favor.